Alright everybody, this is Chris from uh, Cairns Fish Keeping and today we're going to talk about the rainbow cichlid. I'm going to have a care guide and we're just going to go over and we're just going to talk all about these uh, beautiful gorgeous fish. I got three of them in my tank, there's one here, one here, and uh, there's the other guy. So, the rainbow cichlid, the, they inhabit the coast, they inhabit in uh, Costa Rica, Honduras, and Nicaragua. I think I pronounced that last one right, I'm not 100% sure. To me, they are a very stunning fish. Right now, my guys' colors aren't fully out, but they do, uh, the reason their name is the rainbow fish is they change color. Um, they get to about a size of six to six and a half inches. Um, minimum tank requirement. Now, everything I've researched said 20 to 30 gallon minimum, but to be honest, I would not have them in a 30 gallon minimum. If I was to do anything, I would probably do a group of at least six. I know I've only got three, but I'm planning on getting three more. I would do a group of at least six in a 40 gallon breeder. Um, when they do start changing color, that's when they start getting gorgeous because it's like a yellow, like a bright yellow to them. Um, the lifespan is about seven to nine years. Uh, the water temperature is 72 to 82, but they like slightly alkaline water. So the pH of 7.0 to 8.0. The tank mates, as you guys can see, I've got uh, a two cars in here. I've got, um, I think they call it a blue flash. I got three Nicaraguans. Uh, I got an Oscar growing out back over there somewhere behind the boat. And I've got a convict in here. But uh, the research I've done also said these guys can go with uh, fire milk cichlids, tetras, angelfish, um, rams. There's so much these fish can go with because the aggression level isn't really too bad. And they can also hold their own against bigger cichlids. I wouldn't suggest putting them in with anything like a Texas or even like a Cuban or any Pericromus or um, Amphilophus species. Those would probably, you know, lift them apart because they don't get that big. Um, yeah, I just think they're a great addition. They also like to live in more planted areas from what I understand from the research. So I'll start off with like a Java fern. Um, and then work from there. I've got all these uh, plants in here now. I've also got some uh, water lettuce growing up here that they seem to, to like. But they just mostly do the swim around, do their thing. They're great fish. They're peaceful. They don't get too big. Um, they live to about, uh, what is it? What did I say? Like seven to nine years. So again, you know, you gotta take the time and care for them. Just like any other fish. But they are such absolutely stunning fish and I love them when you open it, go to open up their thing see how they come up there with the colors um, I've also got what they call a little mini dovi growing out in here he's gonna be going into the big tank when he's bigger but I just wanted to do a care guide on uh, rainbow cichlid like this guy right here I don't know if you guys can see his color but he's getting more of the yellow color um I think I'm not sure how you tell male from female to be honest, I just got into the, the whole rainbow cichlids. But I think he is a male. I think, because of his colors. But again, I'm not 100% sure on sexing these guys. I just know they're an extraordinary fish. I would recommend them even for like a novice fish keeper because they don't get so big and they will eat you know, they're omnivores, so they will eat pretty much anything you put in this aquarium. Like, I use uh, a mixture of bug bites, omega-1, and uh, sinking shrimp pellets, and they've been doing good off of that. I've had these guys for maybe, I don't know, close to two, three weeks now. Everybody's doing good. I, I upgraded this tank to a bigger tank. If you guys remember, I had my uh, two of cars in the one tank, but... 
buddy of mine wanted to trade me for my tank, so I got this one. I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it. It's probably my best scape I've done. See that, that convict? That's actually um, a hybrid convict of a fire mill. I actually like him, he's pretty nice. He, he not really aggressive, he's just kind of territorial. He doesn't like anybody near his little boat there. But look how stunning these mables are. They're also like um, a schooling fish. That's why they recommend having at least six. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting three more but uh, I'm just waiting for mostly these Nicaraguans to grow out, the mini dovi back there, and then the lemon Oscar. Because as soon as they grow out, I'm putting all those into the big tank with the bigger guys. And I might get three more of the, three, maybe, uh, maybe six more. I don't know, three to six more of the uh, Nicaraguan, I mean, sorry, the uh, rainbow cichlids. Just because I like them and I like their personalities. And they go great with the my electric blue cars. But yeah, that is it, I think for today so i hope everybody likes this hopefully you know i give the right information and you guys can learn about the rainbow cichlid because they are an amazing fish i can't stress that enough they really are like look at this guy in front here he's quite the unit i mean he's just stunning i don't think these guys are gonna get much bigger it says about six to six point five inches they're probably hmm, I'd say maybe three and a half more inches now. So, yeah, who knows? It might get a bit bigger. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully, everybody likes what I do and my content. Please hit that uh, like button and the notification bell and subscribe. I've been appreciating everybody and the support. Look at my iPad. So, I just got sidetracked by them. They are stunning. She is gorgeous she's my og i've had her for quite some time now anyways hopefully you guys enjoy peace